My name is Noelle Santos and I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I am the owner of The Lit Bar, which is the only bookstore in the Bronx. It's a combination bookstore, wine bar, general interest um, when we specialize in local and women's interests. So I love to read. I love to read nonfiction mostly. Um, I find that the more that I love life, the more that I want to be grounded in the world and I want to learn from my reading. So I read mostly to, um, to learn from other people's mistakes. That's what literature has done for me, um, especially as an entrepreneur. I'm always, you know, learning from other people's lessons. Sometimes, you know, my life is, most of the time, <laughs> my life is, gets so busy and so hectic as a business owner that I use that as a form of escapism and I'm able to just run away to another country or the part of the world and um, the lip bar is, doesn't matter at that moment. Um, and then I get to come back to it and be grounded back in reality that I love. So the book I bought was A Tree Grows in Brooklyn and it was introduced to me by my mom. It's a coming of age story that takes place in the 1900s in Brooklyn, pre-gentrified Williamsburg. And um, it's a story full of lessons of perseverance and the importance of education and class. And um, so not only did it expand my horizons beyond you know, the pop culture that I was into at the time, but it introduced me to people who were unlike me. And you know, I, didn't, I don't come from a diverse community. Um, so it was my introduction to white people. And it was the window that ultimately allowed me to navigate um, outside of my community and feel a connection to other cultures and people who are unlike me. So I'm so grateful that this book was introduced to me at such a young age because I had no idea what it was doing to my mind. You know, now in retrospect, I could look back and you know, see that you know, I gained empathy. Um, you know, that I, um, that I, you know, felt a connection to different cultures. That's something that I couldn't articulate when I read it. I'm grateful that my mom forced me to read it, <laughs> and then I eventually grew to love it.